Man, I am pumped today. We, we get a lot of products here, but these, these are the real deal. And look, before I tell you why, here's the thing. Over-the-ear wireless headphones that have noise canceling are pretty expensive. And you don't get much for design for anything over $250. So I've always had an issue with buying something that expensive. Because I feel like if you're going to pay $300 for some wireless headphones, technology is nice. But honestly, make it look good. So when these came out, and I mean, look at, look at that right there. So look, what we got here is the Phaeton 900 Legacy. They're the new ones that just came out from them. It's the 60th anniversary edition. Digital hybrid, noise canceling, Bluetooth headphones that look spectacular. Now, I mean, you guys got a little preview of the box. You got the headphones on the front, the 60th anniversary. Sound Unleashed, they have their own little thing that they like to put on there, right? Back of the box, 43 hours of playtime, 43. And here's the crazy thing. When you plug them in for 10 minutes, four hours of playtime before even listening to them. I'm pretty sold, like I want this. I want this to work. I mean, what else do they got on here? Superior digital hybrid noise canceling with FF and FB feed forward feedback. Yeah, it's gonna come down to sound at the end of the day. It says that they have the Qualcomm AptX HD high definition Bluetooth wireless audio. We'll see for ourselves. Now these do have the noise canceling built into them. And what I thought was really cool is they actually have that smart play and pause so that that way when you put them on, automatically pays, take them off, pauses it, put them back on, plays it again. Haven't really seen that with anything else other than the AirPods. So again, look, the things that you're gonna be able to compare this to are the ones that I wish had better designs. It's gonna be the Bose, the Beats, and the Sony headphones. I mean, let's get to it, let's open them up. On the top, you don't have anything to open, so do not try to open it from the top. If not, you will just end up ripping your box. Instead, at the bottom, that is where you go ahead and open it. One first, oop. Not gonna throw this box, guys. I hope you can understand. Put it to the side over here. Black box, Phaeton on the front, Phaeton. It's in Phaeton, I'm not sure. Almost looks like one of those Bibles you get at the hotels where you know they, they have the Bible and then you open it up and there's nothing inside. It's just like a gun holder or something like that. You got your case in there. You got a manual slash quick start guide. Now the case is a hard case, has some sort of a texture to it. The only logo that I see on it is on the actual zipper. Phaeton, Phaeton. Go ahead and open those guys up. Oh yeah. So tell me for first impressions, when you see that, that is that is spectacular, people. I have yet to see something else that looks that good. It almost has like a carbon fiber finish, rose gold accents, leather on the actual headset itself, matte black design. Here, I gotta take them out just so you guys can see. I hope you guys can notice the details in that right there, but it is very, very fine attention to detail. On the inside of the headphones, you have an indicator for L and R, and then obviously you can go ahead and open them up. Now you have your headphones like that. You have a little bit of give on the headphone itself. I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but they lay flat so that, that way once you actually want to put them on, it has a little bit of give. In the box itself, you have a audio cable, standard, that's Fiat 10 on the top, a little bit of branding on it. You got your charging cable, USB-C, no Fiat 10 on it. Now you got a little card, probably for the warranty. What I like is that these actually turn so you can lay them flat on a surface. I mean, look at that. That's pretty flat. If the earth was flat, that's how flat it would be. On the headphones themselves, there's only two buttons and two places to plug stuff into. So on the left-handed, you have the power right there on the front, and then you have an NC button for the noise cancellation. So you have an option to turn it on and turn it off. I think that's really cool. Not everybody's gonna want the noise canceling, even though these are noise canceling headphones, so why'd you buy them? You got the place to connect your, your plug-in right there in case you wanna charge, and then the audio jack on the other side. All right, quick start guide. So you're gonna have your Bluetooth on, kind of a no-brainer, but they gotta put that in there obviously because some people are not gonna do it. Let's go ahead and go to our Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on, turn these on. Now we're gonna press and hold this button for five to six seconds so that that way it could find it. To discovery mode, find it on our phone, 900 Legacy, there it is, connected, easy enough. You know, just make sure you hold it for a full six seconds. You're gonna have a light that's blinking blue right here. You actually want it alternating between blue and red. You have the NC button on. So even though there's no indicators on here, you can actually double tap it to start the song. You can swipe up and swipe down for volume and you can swipe from left to right to change the song. So the only one that's kind of difficult is the one where you actually move the song back and forward. You have to press your finger on it for a few seconds and then you actually move it forward. I haven't quite gotten it down. I'm sure there's a trick to it, but that one's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to. So here's the thing, we have the NC for the noise canceling. Let's see how good that works, how they look. So 
So I've been pushing the noise canceling button on here. And here's the thing, when they're not on, it almost has it to where you can hear more. So you can actually turn it off and I can hear, I can hear everything right now. Even though I, it has a complete suction around my ear, I can hear everything right now. I push the noise canceling on, I'm disconnected from the world. I'm very, very impressed that when you actually turn it off, it's almost like they have an amplifier so that that way you can hear the world around you. Because again, look, the suction on those, it covers my whole ear and it almost has it to where it's a perfect suction. Pretty much suctioning off your entire ear so that that way you can't hear the world around you regardless of the noise canceling or not. So they almost needed to put something like a microphone that allows you to hear the outside world. I put them on and it automatically plays the song again. All right, I'm gonna try the, the sound. It's completely responsive to me putting the volume up or putting it down completely responsive like here's the thing we know that beats and all the other ones they have the buttons to go up and down the fact that it's touch i'm i'm pretty impressed in case you guys didn't know what song i was listening to it's actually dispuesto by maluma so i'm gonna i'm gonna mix it up a little bit i know that there's different genres more than anything look for me what i want to see out of these is i want to make sure that they have enough bass because that's that's the only reason that i keep any other brand around is because I want to make sure that it has bass. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna buy something this much, I don't. The noise canceling, it's nice, it's great. I want to make sure that if I'm going to the gym, if I'm in the airport, if I'm in an airplane, and you know there's the little baby that's right next to me, the noise canceling is gonna take out most of that sound, but it's not gonna take out all of it. So I want to make sure that I have something that's actually hitting my eardrums hard enough to block out the extra noise. So I'm gonna put the noise canceling on while I listen to music to see if it makes a difference. Uh, I mean, I actually need to turn off the noise canceling because I wouldn't know if I was screaming at you or not. It's that powerful. And that kind of worries me a little bit, but in the best way possible, as you guys can tell, I'm getting a little excited. It worries me in the best way possible because it's so good you wouldn't even know if you're screaming. Let's put on a different song though. We're gonna take it back a little bit. Let me take it back a little bit, y'all. We're gonna go City of Dreams, Alesso. Some of y'all know the song. I gotta try it on these, I'm pretty excited. Noise canceling on. It's about to drop. I'm not gonna lie, I wish they were louder. That's the one thing I'm noticing right now. I wish they were slightly louder. It seems like they almost like when they're capped off, you're like, there should be just one more level that goes beyond it. Not complaining, just my thoughts. You know what? I haven't listened to Flume in a while, but I feel like these are Flume worthy. So let's listen to Flume, Smoke and Retribution. Seems like a good song, seems like a good mellow song to kind of test these in, break them in. You know what, before we go into this, I know you guys, we didn't go over this manual. There's not much to go over it. Honestly, I took you through the whole pairing process already. That was the biggest thing. Other than that, you're gonna wanna make sure that you charge them. The charging port is pretty self-explanatory. Looks like there's a thing for the noise canceling. I mean, you press the button once, you don't hold it down, you press it, let it go, press it, let it go on and off. Receiving a call, if you wanna take the call, you press it once, you wanna end it press it again super responsive we went through the whole thing like this i'm glad they sent it in case somebody has questions you're probably not gonna have questions let's go ahead and hear this song okay so let's let's just put these right here right so you guys could see them i'm gonna be basing this review off of three things first one is bass the second is clarity and the third one is looks the first one is bass unfortunately it doesn't give me the same amount of bass as a lot of the other ones out there right now. Now this should be a deal breaker for me because it is the number one thing for me. However, I would say out of 10, you're looking at an eight. However, clarity, studio quality. I mean, I've listened to other songs with other headphones and found them to be subpar. Even with other headphones that have high boosted bass, you don't have a lot of clarity. It's really just a lot of noise. This sounds like I'm actually speaking to someone. Like it's studio quality, like legitimately just recorded straight into my ears. It's crisp, biting into an apple crisp. 10 out of 10 on the crispy scale. Give it to them. Kentucky Fried Chicken crispy. The last one is style. I mean, these right here fit for a king. 10 out of 10 on style. So I mean, you're looking at a 28 out of 30. Competitor A, right, base. 
10. Clarity 7, Design 5. You can honestly, just by that, know why I'm such a fan of these. And at a price point that's exactly the same as all the other ones, you need to be looking at these. I I'm a pretty big fan, as you guys can tell. Look, if you're looking for me to tell you whether to buy these or not, answer is yes. If you're looking to me right now and saying, are these the better option? Yes. And if you are just looking for permission to spoil yourself and buy yourself something nice and make your friends even envy you a little, I say do it. I give you full permission to spoil yourself, child. Look, it's been a rough year. You deserve these. In all seriousness, guys, these are some damn good headphones. If you want to know more about these or where you can buy them, go ahead and hit the link in the description of this video. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We do videos just like this every single week. Products from Kickstarter, Indiegogo, Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, whatever looks interesting, we do it. And if there's a product you want us to review, leave it in the comments. All right, everybody, I appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and get yourself a pair. Be the talk of the town. Until next time.